G'day boys and girls. Hope you're all well. I'm gonna tell you a little story today about, well, first of all, when I was 11. So it wasn't that long ago, really. And we went on a family holiday. We had gone on a big holiday to lots of places. And we had ended up up in the Northern Territory and we were in a, kind of like a national park, but it wasn't a park where there were toilets and showers and rubbish bins. It was very, very basic camping on the side of a creek. And we were with lots of other people on this holiday and we pulled up and so all the mums and dads and all of the older people were setting up their camps. And so we'd gone exploring. And this creek, river, creek, not sure which one, had crocodiles, lots of crocodiles. They were on the branches of these trees leaning into the water. And as you walked along, you'd see them go into the water. And we hadn't been there for long. So we went exploring, my brothers and I, just to look, see what we could find. And then we had our bucket on a piece of string and we would dangle it down into the water and pull it up to keep the water so that we could have a shower later or water to wash our hands or wash up. And so we were gathering water. And I was doing that for a little while and I was by myself. And all of a sudden, this very steep sandy incline I was using the bucket to get the water from collapsed. It fell into the water and I went with the bank. So I had an entire bank of sand on top of me under the water and I was extremely frightened. I couldn't swim because the sand was so heavy and I didn't know which way was up anymore to be able to try and get out and scream for help. But my dad rescued me. Somehow they managed to get me out of the water and I was okay and I didn't get eaten by a crocodile. And I remember that he rescued me and I've remembered that for a long time. So when I was at university, and I was driving at night time, I suddenly realized as I got out of town that I couldn't see where I was going. My headlights weren't working and it was really dark. But not only were my headlights not working, I didn't have a speedo, I didn't know how fast I was going, I couldn't see the clock, I couldn't see the radio, there weren't any lights in my car and I needed rescuing again. So I thought, oh, my dad's rescued me before. He's reliable, I trust that he'll help me. I'll call my dad. So I called my dad and he walked me through what I needed to do to my car to get going. And he rescued me so I could see where I was going. Now today in the sermon from Psalm 3, it's David talking and he's calling out to God. Now he remembers that God is faithful and he remembers that God has rescued him. So he is calling out to God and asking God to rescue and help him again. But unlike my dad who might miss a phone call or might not always be here to rescue me, God will always be, was always there to rescue David and he's always there to listen and hear us and to help us too. So if you're ever in trouble, just like Mary talked about last week, we can call out to God and we can ask him for help and ask him to help us with our troubles. Good morning, girls and boys. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much for Jesus, who is our number one rescuer, for Jesus who rescues us from sin. This week, Lord, help us whenever we feel afraid or worried, help us to trust you and know that you are our rescuer. And we ask this in Jesus' name and we say, Amen.